This is a big moment for any soldier. Four weeks into training, they're firing live ammunition for the first time. You have fire, 20 rounds in total. Despite the losses being felt in Afghanistan, the number joining the armed forces is at its highest for five years. And recently, a defence minister said the economic climate may be a contributing factor. We found that it is. People are joining up because of the recession. Ellis and Cameron are hoping for careers in the army. They've come to the recruiting centre in Leicester for aptitude tests. Has the economic climate affected your decision to come and join up? Uh, I would say so, yeah. Because if, um, if there was jobs around, I probably wouldn't be trying to join the army. It's hard to find a job these days. It's, there is jobs out there, but just leaving school, you think they're looking for more experience. So if you go in the army, you can get more experience, and if you decide to come out, then you've got the experience behind you. And the area recruiting officer has noticed the effects of the recession. There's certainly more people coming in, but um, not necessarily more people getting through the selection process. Uh, we have to remember that the army is not just a job, it's a career and it's a lifestyle, and it's a very long and difficult uh, selection process. Those who pass the aptitude tests and a selection course start initial training at a camp like Bassingbourne near Cambridge. Here too we found men who joined up because of the recession. I was made redundant just before Christmas. I uh, always had it in my mind to join the army. Uh, and as soon as I got made redundant, that was it, then that was why I joined up. I, I had a bit of a stable job before I come in, but about four or five months before I decided to join, which was last October, just nothing. But of course, this is not just another job, and economic reasons are not the only or even the main ones for joining up. Well, my dad's been in the army now for 22 years, so he, he's influenced my decision. And um, I've seen what he's been through, he's travelled the world. I worked in a pie factory for eight months, so that wasn't too good. So fine. Why did you leave? You just didn't like it? Yeah, it was tedious. No, my brother had been in the army, he said, a lot of excitement, so I thought I'd join him. The numbers joining the forces have been rising steadily in recent years. The 22,500 plus who joined in 08-09, an 8% increase on the previous year. The rising number of new recruits is one reason the forces are now at a relatively high 97.2% of full strength. But it's not just the number of men like these who are joining the armed forces that is increasing manpower. At the other end of their careers, fewer people are leaving the armed forces. The numbers leaving are following a broadly downward trend, down to 17,970 in the last year. And that's despite the high tempo of operations and the growing list of casualties. All of those passing out of Bassingbourne know they are likely to go to Afghanistan before long. Everyone that passed off the parade square this morning knew exactly where we're going. We've been, that's been smashing us from day one. We've been told that within the next two years we'll all be in Afghanistan, no matter what. Well, I know that I am probably going to go to Afghanistan, which will be pretty soon, and I'm proud of, proud of knowing that I'm going to go to fight for my country and everything. But at the meantime, I'm also frightened. All of which makes this so much more than just a job, even for those who joined because there weren't enough jobs to go round.